Hi guys, uh, welcome to Women in Cybersecurity with the Paramount team. Uh, my name is Ramya and I take care of the digital marketing at Paramount. Uh, so a couple of months back, we had spoken to you guys about uh, the fact that uh, we as a company uh, are very uh, focused on having a lot of uh, women in the workforce. And uh, honestly, we can't even comprehend why there aren't women in the industry uh, because the statistics is that only 11% of the entire workforce is women. And that is actually quite shocking. And uh, for us, we feel that it's very important to send that message across to potential people who are interested in the career and educate women out there who want to get into a career in cybersecurity about what it's all like and uh, how how feasible it is and all of those things. So I've got with me Shiva, Hi. Shiva Shankari Mari, who is a young consultant with our team and uh, she's going to be telling us a little bit about uh, her journey in cybersecurity and what it means to be a woman in cybersecurity. So, Shiva, can you tell the audience about how you got into the cybersecurity industry to begin with? It all started when I was in my college. Okay. So, I met some random person, you know, he was from cybersecurity. I did not go back and explore who he was and all. But still, he made a difference. Okay. So, I got, I, I was like, uh, what am I really good at? In the IT side. Okay. So I was like a lot of browsing, surfing, and all that. I got you no. Know, I, I, you know, that's the time when we got to see a lot of hacking news and all in the. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, or well, it, it's like you know, you have, we have the thinking or whatever. You know, when we think about a hacker, he's a guy with a hood. <laughs> and it's, yeah. yeah, correct. Yeah, true. true. So that I was the... like, oh, why not girls? I did. I was okay. I want to set the wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> I was searching on and did not get any, you know, uh, hacker uh, logo, woman, yeah, yeah. yeah wallpaper. So then now uh, I, I was like, okay, I wanted to become a radio hacker, and you know what? I called myself as a date hacker. Okay, well, <laughs> all right. Okay. And you know, I kept up uh, wallpapers of it everywhere, and I also started uh, learning my by myself. Okay, like, and all the you know all the basic hacks that we are uh, getting. Yeah, and all that. Yeah. Okay, and later on, also many people made fun of it. That's <laughs> the part. But still, I kept on, you know, yeah, improving myself, and that's where my interest actually started. And also, I got a lot of offers, uh, you know, which were not into security. And so, in 2015, I joined uh, B45 Solutions. So okay, that, that's where I started my internship, and okay. that's where I started learning. It really interested me a lot. We as a, as a company are very focused on this whole making sure that women get a right representation in the industry. And you've also, because you're a consultant, you've worked with a variety of companies here yeah. in the information security mm. industry. So what has been your understanding of maybe the geography or vis-a-vis um, -vis the representation of women? Tell about Paramount. They really welcome me so well, <laughs> and they have always uh, encouraged me so much and supported me whenever I'm down, I'm down or whatever. They have given me, they, they have shown me, okay, we have, uh, you know, you have a good support, you can do it, and they are always motivating me. And yeah, that I have improved a lot after coming here, and I've learned a lot, and and also we have a lot of uh, women. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Us. Okay. What would you say is a challenge that you have faced as a woman in cybersecurity? Challenge, I would say personally, it's the support. The, uh, basically, for all the women, it's like they need support from the family to get into a career, mm. and they need the support in the work environment as, as well, right? Okay, they somehow fight and come and do what yeah. they wanted to do for yeah. it. And people don't encourage uh, women doing technical things. You know? yeah, okay, you're a woman, you don't you cannot do it. It's not like that actually. We can do whatever the others can also do. It's not that, that, that's just the mindset I would say. Yeah. So it's really important for the workplace to motivate them because they don't get really good you know, support from the family. Even if they get it, they fight for it and come to this place and after coming here, they have yes. to get some kind of support. So right. that will what, motivate them and Make them know they can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It gives so them the strength. Yeah, and this the is courage. one very important 
thing and uh, and there are a lot of passionate women which who are, I have met and there are a lot of people they are just it's just that they are not aware like you know there is some opportunity there in this space so okay. it's very important to spread this uh, message yeah that's the whole reason why we did this guys it's also uh, national cyber security month this october so uh, shiva and i felt that we need to increase the awareness particularly amongst the younger women who are looking to move into a career in cyber security there is enough and more scope there is opportunity uh, there are uh, many places that will welcome you and train you and coach you and groom you into a great cyber security professional and shiva and i were having this conversation some time back uh, hopefully in future when we're looking for images of hackers <laughs> or ethical hackers or cyber security professionals it is not always going to be that guy in the hood it's going to be a girl rocking that space empower all of the girls you know who want to get into this industry give them the right kind of information if any of you want to get in touch with us and find out uh, whether we have any opportunities or if there is anything in particular that you'd like to hear from our hr team or even any of our senior management please do comment in to the video below and we will we will try to uh, address your concerns as much as possible hopefully next year we will have a, a larger representation of women and that 11% is going to change yeah, yeah? thank you thank so. you